Hello folks, it's uh, Ken David Stewart uh, with you today. And I think this is my second or third uh, YouTube video I've made recently. This one's from uh, Wednesday, January 5th, 2022. And uh, I'm just going to read and uh, expand a bit on uh, on one of my blogs, I just, I'm going to be releasing shortly, actually, in the printed form on WordPress. Uh, and what it's entitled is what I'm reading now by Ken David Stewart. No, I read a lot. I'm either reading, you know, books on my uh, Samsung tablet or listening to audio books on Scribd or audiobooks.com or Audible. So I've pretty well always got a story either in print form or in audio form, not too far away from me. Okay, I'm gonna discuss three books today. Uh, no spoiler alerts. I will start with a book, Badasses by Peter Richmond. This story, is nonfiction and its subject matter is the Oakland Raiders during their glory years with John Madden as their head coach, period. Now, unfortunately, John has passed away recently and he will be sorely missed. He was probably one of the greatest NFL coaches of all time. It was during the Madden era the Raider Nation really came of age. Peter Richmond's book is well written and provides the reader with a factual historical picture of the Oakland Raiders in their best of times. The author does not try to hide the fact that several members of the Oakland Raiders organization were very unorthodox, larger than life characters. Anecdotal stories are recorded about the unorthodox, unusual aspects and idiosyncrasies of both the football organization and their most prominent leadership. And that's not to mention the players yet. That is done too in this book. Badasses gives the reader an inside look at Al Davis, John Madden, and of course, Ken the Snake Stabler. Peter Richmond's book is a must have for any member of Raiders Nation. Now, I have also been reading uh, sections of the Merck Manual's Home Health Handbook. I find this book uh, to be very important and is well written with the layman in mind and what it basically teaches about your body, diseases, disorders, prescription drugs, you name it, a lot of things uh, that are medical. And I've owned a copy of the Merck Manual for several years now and found it to be uh, very, very valuable to get good information about my many health challenges uh, that are occurring at the time or that I'm dealing with. Uh, and I'll just mention here, when you see this thing, it looks like a cigarette. It's not a real cigarette. I quit smoking in my 50s. Uh, this is not even a vapor of any sort. It's not a vaporizer. Nothing comes out of it. Watch. Nothing. Okay. Now, uh, I just talked about the Merck's manual. There's also one on uh, symptoms, separate book. Might mention that one sometimes too. Uh, I want to take from my third book today. Uh, I think it'd have to be The Executioner Song by Norman Mailer. Now, I've been a fan of Norman Mailer since my university days. And a friend of mine tipped me off about him. And he was probably one of the most prominent writers in the 60s and 70s. And I believe he died in his 80s, uh, 
you know, and, and many novels and different types of journalism and writing uh, to his credit. But his masterpiece was really the Executioner's Song. Uh, and, and this book is somewhat similar to In Cold Blood by Truman Capote, in that they're both nonfiction books, but read like fiction novels. The Executioner's Song deals with the complex mind of the convicted killer, Gary Gilmore. It also concentrates on the complex romantic relationship that Gary had with his 19 year old girlfriend at the time, Nicole uh, Barrett. This book is considered by many of Norman Mailer's critics to be Norman Mailer at his finest, and that is the best book that he has published. The Executioner's Song is a book that the reader will have a hard time putting down and finally deciding to go to sleep because it's very, very interesting. I don't stick with books very long unless they're inform, informing me of something they're informative or they're entertaining, uh, but they really have to capture my, my attention. And the Executioner's Song will, and there's several other good books by Norman Mailer, which I'll probably talk of, different podcasts and blogs and things like that. <coughs> you know, I'm just recommending three books to you again. Uh, you don't seem to have much in common. First one, Bad Asses by Peter Richmond, kind of the story of the John Madden years, the Oakland Raiders, uh, the Merck Manual of Home Remedies, a uh, medical book with the layman in mind. And let's see, and the third one was The Executioner's Song by Norman Mail. Okay, well, I hope you guys are all having a good day or uh, uh, if it's a good day, it'll continue. And if you're starting your day, that uh, things will get even better. Okay, this is Ken David. I didn't get myself too centered while centered today, now did I? No, I'm sure I'll hear about it. Okay, so this is Ken David Stewart signing off. We'll talk to you again uh, soon.